What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fishing video. Welcome to Real Nation Fishing. It is mid-June and I'm finally getting out on the kayak after about a month. Last time I was out was my first kayak fishing tournament. Went pretty well. If you haven't checked that video out, make sure you do. It's going to be a very, very hot day today. These fish are probably post-spawned. It's absolutely beautiful right now on the water. Water is completely glass. It's supposed to feel like 42 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's super hot. Because the weather is so hot, I don't know if these fish are in some post-spawn funk. I don't know if it's fully post-spawn or some are still on beds. I have no clue. We're just going to relax today. We're going to catch some bass or at least try to. I'm going to start off with some moving baits, low top water. We're going to cover water. We're going to try to have a good time. Stay tuned, guys. Oh, what a bite. We a bunch of bait and some rocks and sand and weed. It's just a nice mixture. A little shoal over here. Good right, but oh no, my net's not open. Oh, that was very messy. Ah, 17 and three quarters, not bad. Pretty solid fish. There you go. First fish on the top water this season. Can't get any better than that. What is that, a largey? That's a decent large mouth. Put the top water around for a little bit. No luck, but uh, I was just coming off the flats right now and I'm working my way to, to a drop off over here. So I thought I'd throw the chatterbait around right there, right in the mouth. He just hit it and just swam with it. Nice large mouth. Probably a 16 inch fish. Throwing a Z-Band Mini Max with a Strike King Rage Craw as a trailer. To be honest, the, the Mini Max, I, I, I really like it. It's a really nice chatterbait for its size. Put so many different types of trailers on it. It's a little bit more compact. I prefer it over the original one for sure. All right, let's keep working our way to this drop off. Will we catch another fish? I didn't measure that last fish. Like, it was a decent fish. Definitely 16 inches, 16 and a half. Two fish on the board so far, which is pretty good. Pretty confident we'll probably catch a limit today. Maybe more. But for me, it's like I'm. Those 18 and a half, 19 inch fish is what, what you mainly want to target. I mean, big fish are fun to catch. Simple as that. We got one more on. Feels like a. Feels like a smallmouth. What is it? It's a large -y. Holy crap. Oh, that's a good large mouth. This one's slightly bigger than the last fish. Again, on that shatter bait. Take a look at that. Second chatterbait fish, off you go. Little tiny one. I'm just getting closer to some deeper water. Just have a little ball head, one eighth ounce with a bag of uh, spark shad. Bluegills bit the tail off, but I'm still casting it around. <laughs> if I see boulders, I'm going to cast at them. Oh, 
yep. Anytime I see gravel and sand and weeds, I'm almost guaranteed a fish. He's not a big guy. Still a fish. Nonetheless. Look at this huge boulder beside me. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. But that one boulder can hold a big fish. Ah, uh, probably like 14 and a half, 15 inches. Fought like it was so much bigger. At least we are catching them. fish on this spot. The third fish I've caught here. You're relating to something here. I mean, I don't know what it is. This is it's not a big fish, but it's been a grind since like after like 10.30 as it got closer to noon. I took a little break. Um, I didn't fish for a little bit. I was just relaxing. Ate a little bit of food. Retied all my rods. A lot of empty beds. So obviously, majority of these fish have now moved on from the spawn. I didn't find them at the drop-offs either. I mean, I threw everything. So I decided to come back to the spot here where I had caught my two largies earlier in the morning. To be honest, I don't know where, where the big fish are at right now. Like, I just, I, I couldn't figure it out. It's, um, it's almost 1 p.m. It is super hot outside today, very humid, very muggy. And um, just trying to make the most of the day, try to enjoy our day. Let's see if we can catch some more big ones. I think we need to move somewhere. Decisions, decisions. Tiny little small mouth. I came back into the little shallow flat where I launched from. On the right, a lot of dead vegetation here still. Like it's not fully green. There's a deep hole right on that side right there. Seen some rocks underneath this. Uh, these weeds are just dried out lily pads. I don't even know what that is. There's some rocks there and uh, this one hit there. I've had no luck. Found this little back cut. It has these small little bays with lily pads and some weeds. I'm a kind of frog. See if we can work some of these lily pads. I pulled my pedal drive up and we're just gonna be paddling. And if all else fails, I think we're gonna target some panfish today as well. It's been a great day, man. It's so beautiful out here. Like there's, there's an osprey nest right there. Um, I'm going to get my phone and make a video of that and post that right now. But yeah, it's just nice being out. It's been a long month since I've even been fishing and just being out on the water sometimes is just... Uh, then that's the best part. You won't always catch fish, but anytime you're on the water, you'll always have some... I don't know. I'm just randomly talking because I need to catch a fish. Okay, let's do that. All right. We gotta make moves. It's hot. I just had some food, some water. It's just dead. There's some rocks see underwater. Let's try flipping a little wacky rig in there or something. There's gotta be one fish sitting here, man. Oh my God. He was just swimming away with it. Nice, pretty little fish. That's huge! Dude, that is massive! Oh! Look at that bluegill! That is huge! Finally! <laughs> Did 
stinks all day. That was a fish. God! Thanks all day, baby. Nice. Tiny. Probably not even 12. You know what? There might just be a big one on this shoal over here somewhere. I'm getting so annoyed at this. So just a quick little breakdown as to what was happening here is I was fishing the left side of the shoal and I kept getting bites. It wasn't a small fish because the small ones will usually peck at your bait. You won't feel much weight. But this one I was feeling weight and uh, I've noticed this before when fishing weightless tubes like this. I had a Texas rig because I was around a lot of rocks. The fish will pick up the tube from the tentacles and hold on to it for whatever reason. You have to really wait until they fully have it in its mouth. And uh, so I decided to switch sides and come over to the downwind side to the right side of the shoal. And uh, I pitched it in and I felt the fish take it right away and I set the hook and I missed and I noticed my when my, my tube came out of the water the hook was a little bit more exposed than normal so I just let it drop back in. It took it this time and I just eased into it and uh, managed to land this fish. It was a decent fish towards the end of the day and uh, I'm glad I was at least able to get That's one off this little shoal over here. Finally got it. It's not that big, but it's still a fish. Demolish the tube. Nice, largey. So that brings us to an end of a very long and hot day of fishing. I really thought the day would get better as it progressed, but it didn't. We managed a few decent fish, but a lot of dinks, and I just spent some time just exploring the water, trying to learn something new. And you're not going to catch them every single time you're out. And, uh, but what's important is that you make mental notes and just build upon every single trip. And eventually you'll have some of those days where you catch them lights out. And uh, either way, it was a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.